Congratulations on your win. Thank you very much, Joanne and Stacey. I have to tell you, I was very proud. Thank you me. teared her up, man. I was I tearing did, up. I was crying. Really? Oh, God. I, was, I didn't expect that. I was just, I was just like... Oh wow, his dream just came. A 13 year dream? No, no. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just supposed to be happy for you. Thank you. I'm sorry. No. Thank you. I did that in the audience. Over here, just a sure. You get on camera, I'll turn my back. So I owe you an apology. I did not support you this season the way I did the first season. I doubted you. Every reason to doubt. Nanner, nanner. You, you played a fantastic game. I'm in awe of what you did. As a Survivor fan to another Survivor fan, you were amazing. Thank you. That means a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to have won you back. I know we had a rough yeah. there for a little while, but to be back <laughs> on your good side means a lot. <laughs> that was so awesome. What did you do differently to prepare yourself this time? You know, I certainly didn't undergo any physical transformation. I was still the same physical mess I was the first time. I think it was just like an internal change. I just calmed down, you know? I didn't practice meditation or anything, but just I underwent some sort of internal psychological shift where I, I wasn't as neurotic and anxious the entire time. But I didn't, I, you know, I thank God there wasn't a knot. I thank God I got to not untying advantage. I'm horrible at untying knots. How how did that? That was amazing. <laughs> not to your kryptonite and you defeated them. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, I didn't have to defeat them. They were, you know, taken right away from me. Right, yeah. Um, you did it just indirectly. Yeah, I, you know, so I didn't, I didn't really practice challenges. I, it was just, it was a, a mental shift and everything just fell into place after that. I certainly knew, I didn't know the game any better because I already knew the game really well. I wasn't any better physically. I think the people that are on my tribe, I got along with everybody better. I mean, the social dynamics are the most essential part of the game. Um, the first tribe I was on la the first season I played, they didn't like me. I didn't really like all of them. Um, this time I got along with well with everybody. It was like a really fun experience. It showed Survivor can be fun. It is stressful, but it's it's fundamentally a fun game. And, and kind of being able to appreciate for that instead of being so anxious like I was the last time, I think that's what changed. So I'm curious, did you play a little more under the radar in the beginning, or did they just edit it that way? That was unclear. I, mean, I, do, I do think the focus of the show at the, for the pre-merge was like on, you know, Philip and Shamar mm -hmm, and Brandon. Mm -hmm. that's, that's to say I wasn't doing anything. I was, uh, well, part of the thing is we were winning like every challenge. So there wasn't any real opportunity to make big strategic moves. There's mm -hmm. kind of this urge like let's vote off Corinne, but then we kept winning. Or let's vote off, you know, Brenda. She's a threat, but we kept winning. Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest thing I did, and it's not necessarily like the most theatrical television, is I was like a calming influence when people were getting paranoid. Um, not just Don. I mean, Don gets the bad rap for being paranoid, but everybody was paranoid. Andrew was paranoid. Philip and Corinne hated each other. And I would just kind of be this middleman who would go between everybody and say, no, let's just wait, wait until the merge. Don't screw each other now. Let's just keep waiting. Let's keep it together. Kind of like a very loose, you know, adhesive, some sort of Elmer's glue. Um, it wasn't like I wasn't doing big, you know, I wasn't throwing idols around or, you know, or anything wacky. But um, it was an understated game pre-merge. But post-merge is when I was able to, I think, finally really make the moves that I've, I've wanted to make. Were you ever able to get in anyone's head while you were doing that? While you were counseling them and comforting them? Was there any strategic element? Or was that just in the moment how you were handling it? Well, there's certainly a strategic element. Um, I mean, one of the big things was post-swap when there was a, you know, when I was on the new Bacall tribe, which was obviously at a very great physical disadvantage. We were going to lose every challenge. You know, Philip wanted to vote Corinne off. Corinne wanted to vote Philip off. My fear is if we vote off one or the other, which we could have easily done, we're going to merge and then we're going to reunite with the other favorites. I'm going to say, we can't trust you for six days by yourselves. You're already voting each other off. So it was a strategic element to say, let's stick with each other, even if it's just for six more days. Then we can start voting each other out, which we did. We voted off Corinne. First opportunity once we merged. We just needed to have that initial goodwill once we reunited. And that was a strategic move. Well, I'm still emotional. But <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Thank I'm you. sorry. But um, you go, Annie. Um, <clears throat> try not to cry. Yeah. So, um, I thought Dawn was making the big moves. But you were saying, and she said it, that you were right there too. Help us understand and see that a little more. Yeah, I mean, Don and I were a dynamic duo the entire time. It was a very symbiotic relationship. What Don was great at, which I didn't excel at quite as much as she did, was she could get anybody to tell her everything. I mean, you see this sequence of episodes where somebody confides in her, they get screwed over. Somebody confides in her, they get screwed over. It was remarkable. Uh, what frequently happened, and this is oversimplifying things, there was a lot more back and forth than, it made it, than I'm articulating right now, but she was very good at getting information. She would come to me with that information, unsure what to do. She would get nervous when she had that information. And my responsibility was to say, okay, 
let's actually act on it. You know, she didn't want to vote off Corinne when she heard that Corinne was going to flip. I said, let's vote off Corinne, you know, and I got Andrea on board, and that's when we made it happen. So she was the, you know, in the uneasy position of being the person that got information, which is not a good one, because when you're using, then they're angry at Dawn, not at me, because I just said, oh, let's vote you off. She's the one that like, she had this close emotional bond with. But it was very symbiotic. It was this reciprocal thing where, you know, I would not have been able to do as well without her, uh, and I don't think she would have done as well without me. It, it, it was a, the perfect blend. Okay, we're being told that we're out of time. So what's next for you, John? What's next? Uh, who knows? I mean, I have, I have my Harvard Law graduation in two weeks. Be the big man on campus, I imagine. Um, I don't know. We'll see, though. Uh, and then after that, you know, like I said on the reunion show, I don't know what I want to do with my life. But now I have a little bit of a safety net where I can pursue things and fail at things and, you know, figure out what I do really love. Um, so that's the next big mission for me. Well, I was telling your mom at the hotel that how obvious it was, your maturity level from the first season to Thank this you. season, and how nice that was to see. It, it was awesome to see your redemption. Congratulations, you. Cochran. Oh, you want to show your check to the, to the camera? Of course. That's, that's not gloating at all. <laughs> oh, I have to cover these it's crucial numbers. It's proud of your work, yes. Uh -huh. ah. There we go. The winner of Survivor Care Moen. Oh, can't believe those words are uh, being applied to me. It's it unreal. won't sink in for a while, probably, but <laughs> anyway. Awesome. Very, Thank you, John. Thank you. I'm proud of Thank him. It's like I was his mummy, yep. so you. I know Thank she's you. proud of you, too, Thank so you good so job. Thank you. Okay. Oh, jeez. What is with me? I don't know, baby. <sighs>